Top 10 African countries that first got their independence. Welcome to this blog and thanks for watching. In this video, we shall be presenting to you the top 10 African countries that first got their independence. Between 1870s and 1900, Africa faced European imperialist aggression, diplomatic pressures, military invasions, and eventually conquest and colonization. At the same time, African societies put up various forms of resistance against the attempt to colonize their countries and impose foreign domination. After decades and decades of colonial rule, a wind of change eventually blew in Africa, and there was a massive decolonization. The decolonization of Africa took place in the mid to late 1950s to 1975, with sudden and radical regime changes on the continent as colonial governments made the transition to independent states. This was often quite unorganized and marred with violent and political turmoil. There was widespread unrest and there were organized revolts in both northern and sub-Saharan colonies especially in French Algeria, Portuguese Angola, the Belgian Congo, and British Kenya. Prior to the massive decolonization that took place in the 1950s to 70s, some African countries had already gained their independence. If you are new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Ethiopia is the only country in Africa that was never colonized by any western power so will not be mentioned on this because they have always been independent despite Italy's temporal invasion. So with that said, here are the top 10 African countries that first got their independence. Number 10. Cameroon, January 1st, 1960 The Republic of Cameroon is a country in Central Africa. It is bordered by Nigeria to the west and north, Chad to the northeast and Central African Republic to the east, and Equatorial Guinea and Gabon and the Republic of the Congo to the south. It has a population of about 25 million people and a surface area of about 475,000 442 square kilometers. Portuguese sailors were the first to reach the coast of Cameroon in 1472 and occupied the land. Later on, Germany annexed Cameroon and were defeated by Britain and France during the First World War. Cameroon was under French rule until the 1st of January 1960, where the country gained its independence. Amadou Ahijo was the first president of Cameroon after the country got its independence. Cameroon was the 10th African country to get its independence. Number 9. Guinea, October 2, 1958 The Republic of Guinea is a west coastal country in West Africa. Formerly known as French Guinea, the modern country is sometimes referred to as Guinea Conakry to distinguish it from other countries with Guinea in the name and the eponymous region, such as Guinea-Bissau and Equatorial Guinea. Guinea has a population of about 12.4 billion and an area of 2,445, 857 square kilometers. Guinea's colonial period began with French military penetration into the area in the mid-19th century. French domination was assured by the defeat in 1898 by the armies of Samori Touré, Mansa or Emperor of the Usulu state and leader of Malinke descent, which gave France control of what today is Guinea and adjacent areas. After many years of colonial rule, Guinea finally got its independence from France on the 2nd of October 1958 through a referendum with Ahmed Sekou Touré as the first president. Guinea was the ninth country in Africa to first get its independence. Number 8. Ghana, 6th of March 1957 The Republic of Ghana is a country located along the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean in the sub-region of West Africa, spanning a landmass of 238,535 square kilometers. Ghana is bordered by the Ivory Coast in the west, Burkina Faso in the north, Togo in the east, and the Gulf of Guinea and Atlantic Ocean in the south. Ghana means warrior king in the Soninke language. Ghana colonial rule and its journey to independence is a very interesting one. The country was first occupied by the Portuguese who ruled the land for many years. Later on, the Germans established their control over the land and in 1874, the British took over the land until 1957 when Ghana got its independence, making Ghana the eighth African country to gain its independence. The first president of Ghana was Nkwame Krumah. Number 7. Morocco, April 7, 1956 The Kingdom of Morocco is a country located in the Maghreb region of North Africa. As Europe industrialized, Northwest Africa was increasingly prized for its potential for colonization. France showed a strong interest in Morocco as early as 1830, not only to protect the border of its Algerian territory, but also because of the strategic position of Morocco with coasts on the Mediterranean and the open Atlantic. In 1904, France and Spain carved out zones of influence in Morocco. Recognition by the United Kingdom of France's sphere of influence provoked a strong reaction from the German Empire and a crisis loomed in 1905. In March 1956, the French protectorate was ended and Morocco regained its independence from France 
as the Kingdom of Morocco. A month later, Spain ceded most of its protectorate in northern Morocco to the new state but kept its two coastal enclaves, Quita and Melilla, on the Mediterranean coast. Sultan Mohammed became king in 1957. Number 6. Tunisia, March 20, 1956. Republic of Tunisia is a country in the Maghreb region of North Africa, covering 163,610 square kilometers. Its northernmost point, Cape Angela, is also the northernmost point of the African continent. Tunisia is bordered by Algeria to the west and southwest, Libya to the southeast, and the Mediterranean Sea to the north and east. In 1869, Tunisia declared itself bankrupt and an international financial commission took control over its economy. In 1881, using the pretext of a Tunisian incursion into Algeria, the French invaded with an army of about 36,000 and forced the Bay to agree to the terms of the 1881 Treaty of Bardo. With this treaty, Tunisia was officially made a French protectorate over the objections of Italy. Tunisia achieved independence from France on 20 March 1956 with Habi Bouguiba as Prime Minister. 20 March is celebrated annually as Tunisian Independence Day. Number 5. Sudan, January 1, 1956. The Republic of the Sudan is a country in northeastern Africa. It is bordered by Egypt to the north, Libya to the northwest, Chad to the west, and the Central African Republic to the southwest, South Sudan to the south, Ethiopia to the southeast, Eritrea to the east, and the Red Sea to the northeast. Sudan has a population of about 43 million people and occupies a total area of 1,886,068 square kilometers. Sudan was under the Anglo-Egyptian rule from 1899 to when the country gained its independence on January 1, 1956, making it the fifth African country to gain its independence. Number 4. Libya, December 24, 1951 Officially the state of Libya, Libya is a country in the Maghreb region in North Africa, bordered by the Mediterranean Sea to the north, Egypt to the east, Sudan to the southeast, Chad to the south, Niger to the southwest, Algeria to the west, and Tunisia to the northwest. It has a population of about 6.6 .6 million people and a surface area of about 1,759,541 square kilometers. After the Italo-Turkish war that took place between 1911 to 1912, Italy simultaneously turned the three regions into colonies. From 1912 to 1927, the territory of Libya was known as Italian North Africa. From 1927 to 1934, the territory was split into two colonies, Italian Cyrenaica and Italian Tripolitania run by Italian governors. Some 150,000 Italians settled in Libya, constituting roughly 20% of the total population. On 24 December 1951, Libya declared its independence as the United Kingdom of Libya, a constitutional and hereditary monarch under King Idris, Libya's only monarch. Number 3. South Africa, December 11, 1931. South Africa, officially the Republic of South Africa, RSA, is the southernmost country in Africa. It is bounded to the south by 2,798 kilometers, 1,739 mi of coastline of southern Africa, stretching along the South Atlantic and Indian Oceans to the north by the neighboring countries of Namibia, Botswana, and Zimbabwe, and to the east and northeast by Mozambique and Eswatini, and it surrounds the enclaved country of Lesotho. South Africa was colonized by several countries at different periods. They were the Portuguese, then the Dutch, and finally the British. After many years of the country being under colonial rule, South Africa eventually gained its independence from Britain on December 11, 1931. Number 2. Egypt, February 28, 1922 The Arab Republic of Egypt is a country in the northeast corner of Africa, whose territory in the Sinai Peninsula extends beyond the continental boundary with Asia, as traditionally defined. Egypt is bordered by the Gaza Strip and Israel to the northeast, the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea to the east, Sudan to the south, Libya to the west, and the Mediterranean Sea to the north. The Khedivate of Egypt remained a de jure Ottoman province until 5th November 1914 when it was declared the British protectorate in reaction to the decision of the Young Turks of the Ottoman Empire to join World War I on the side of the Central Powers. In 1914, the protectorate was made official and the title of the head of state was changed to Sultan to repudiate the vestigial sovereignty of the Ottoman Sultan. Who was backing the central powers in World War I. Abbas II was deposed as Khedive and replaced by his uncle Hussein Kamel as Sultan. The unilateral declaration of Egyptian independence was issued by the government of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland on the 28th February 1922. Through this declaration, the British government unilaterally ended its protectorate over Egypt and granted it nominal independence with the exception of four reserved areas, foreign relations, communications, 
the military and the Anglo-Egyptian Sudan. Number 1. Liberia July 26, 1847 The story of Liberia is a very interesting one because Liberia is a very unique country. Located in the western part of Africa and a surface area of about 111,369 square kilometers, Liberia was the very first country in Africa that got its independence. In 1816, the Society for the Colonization of Free People of Color of America, commonly known as the American Colonization Society, was a group established by Robert Finley of New Jersey to encourage and support the migration of free African Americans to the continent of Africa. In 1821 to 1822, the society helped to found settlement on the Pepe coast of West Africa as a place for free-born or manumitted but not fugitive American blacks. This was adjacent to Sierra Leone, the already existing British colony for former slaves and free blacks. On July 26, 1847, the settlers issued a declaration of independence and promulgated a constitution based on the political principles of the United States Constitution. It established the Independence Republic of Liberia. The United Kingdom was the first country to recognize Liberia's independence. The United States did not recognize Liberia until 1862, after the southern states who had significant influence in the American government seceded from the Union to form the Confederation. There you have it, explorers. Those were the top 10 African countries that first got their independence from the colonial masters. Dear explorers, let us know in the comments which of these countries do you like the most and why. The best comments will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, Leave your suggestion in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.